Hi, I'm Nicole from Hello the Future and right now we are going to talk about the $100 Startup Chapter 8. And if you just watched my $100 Startup Chapter 7 video, no, I did not wear the same clothes two days in a row, I just shot these two videos back to back. Whoop! Anyway, so Chapter 8 is called Launch. So Chapter 7 was about creating the offer. Chapter 8 is about putting the offer on the website and telling your mailing list about it. So, a launch has several steps. Step one is to begin way, way, way in advance telling the story of your product. What does that mean? Chris says it means three things. It says first you need to tell your audience what your product is, all right? And then you need to tell them why your product is important. And lastly, you need to tell them what they're actually going to get when they buy your product. Not only the actual thing, but the secret things. The things that make us want these products in our hearts. The things that make the products more than the ebook, or the CD, or the whatever, whatever. Um, so, in this case, I have started telling the story of this product I'm going to launch on Twitter, definitely, but also in my last video that I made for you, which I hope you watched. It was you know, me saying, look, I'm going to be releasing this large thing that is going to be Donor Circle-esque and is going to include t-shirts and buttons and stickers and woot, but mostly it's going to be about me sharing, you know, kind of personal stuff in songs that I think you will be interested in because people are interested in stories, and that is what I do. So, so yeah, I'm telling you a story about how I'm going to be giving you a product that's telling stories, um, and I've, I've, I've told you about it in my last video and now in this video, so now you know. And you also know that I'm going to be using Chris Gillibo's techniques from the $100 startup to create the offer and launch the launch, so now you're incentivized to watch to make sure it actually works. So boom, step one, check. Alright, so launch campaigns tell stories. I am telling mine. After that, you have to make your plan for the launch, and you have to tell people about the plan. You have to tell them, this product will go on sale at X time, and it will be on sale for X time. Chris is like, look, you can have a product on sale forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, right? But if you have some kind of limited time offer, you can actually get a few more sales out of it because of the launch curve. You hit off high when the product launches, you dip after all your initial fans have bought it, you kind of hang out here for a while, and then right before you cut off the, the, the limited time only thing, whether or not you keep selling the product afterwards, right before you cut off the limited time only thing, you send that last email out to your email list, and people foink, jump to buy it because they are afraid of missing out, and also because we procrastinate all the freaking time. Alright? You know it, I know it. Um, you know, I'm the kind of person who will forget to buy theater tickets for a play my friend is in until like the last very day and then I get the two that are left in the back and not next to each other because that's what happened. Um, so that. So those are step one, tell the story. Step two, tell people exactly what's going to happen to the launch when the most important piece, the limited time piece, will end and when they can buy it. Alright? Those are the three things. When the launch will happen, when the limited time piece will end, and when they can buy it. Now we're going to all do the dance. This is your launch dance. Okay. So then you send out the I'm almost ready email, or tweet, or blog post, or whatever, whatever, right? And this goes out the night before, or the afternoon before. So the idea is that people will read it the night before, so that when they go to bed, they'll be thinking, tomorrow morning, I'm going to buy something. Woot! The goal of the we're almost ready post, or email, or tweet, or whatever is to get people to commit to buy your thing. That is the single goal. You don't want make do you don't want people to try to decide to buy your thing and maybe they'll buy it if they see the launch day the next day. Maybe they'll buy it if they have like five minutes. They want people to wake up the next morning excited to buy your thing. Because they'll also have an email in the email inbox the next morning announcing you can finally buy the thing. That's the next step, by the way. The night before you send out the war almost ready, and the next morning you say, now you can buy it. Everyone can buy it. Yay. So those are steps one, two, three, and four of launch day. Step five is that this is how we're doing post or blog or email or vlog or whatever, whatever, right? This is when you tell everyone, both who have bought your product and who have not yet bought your product, that 
you know, sales are X, we are, you know, we're reaching our Kickstarter goal, we have raised so much money so far, um, this is where you throw in the special offer. In addition to this, we're giving all the people who already bought something new, and you can have it too, and all of that. So this is the, like, the, the you know, the first third of the way through you send an update, poof, 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 and then like uh, two thirds of the way through you send another update, poof, poof, you know, we've exceeded our goal, and, and Amanda Palmer is drawing on herself, and that kind of thing. And then, right before you end, you know, the day before you end, you send out one more email. OMG, tomorrow you will be the last day, you can get your special offer, and after that, no more special, and we will be sad. And then the last day, of course, you send the, this is it, like, 33 more hours. I don't know how many hours in a day. 24 hours in a day. 24 hours left to get the special offer, etc. You have to buy now, or you will lose it forever. And that's how you launch. And then at the end you send out a thank you note to everyone, both the people who bought and the people who didn't buy. And you tell the people who bought thank you. And you tell the people who didn't buy thank you for watching. And you say this is how we did. We exceeded our goal. Or we sold this much. Or, you know, we gave away these prizes. Or whatever. And then you say you can still get the basic not special version here if you want, or you can come back in six months because I'm planning something new. It will be amazing and I'm going to start telling the story about it right now. So that's it. There's also, if you're interested, I've given you something like, what do you seven launch steps? But Chris actually has 39 launch steps, which include things like making sure you've purchased a domain name for your product. And not just the .com, get the .net and the .org too. Um, and, you know, all of these 39 steps. And you can reach it via the link down there. It's hundreddollarstartup.com slash resources. And now, um, now I'm done. Thank you for watching.